Hello and welcome to everyone. I am Desh Deepak and today in this video session we will be learning about AWS EC2 EBS volume configuration setups. So as you can see in my screen today we will be talking about these three points and we will be doing real time demonstration so that things get uh, pretty much of clearer at our ends. And so, so as moving forward says in the point 2 that is adding a new EBS volume to an existing EC2 instance that is addition of an extra volume. So for this uh, uh, B part uh, let's take an example let's say that we have an EC2 volume that has 10 a GB of EBS volume. Now as per our requirement after few months or after few years we want to add a uh, 100 GB of extra volume EBS volume to that EC2 instance so that can also be done so that also needs certain configuration tweakings at the EBS volume level so we'll be doing that also in this demo so adding a new EBS volume to an existing EC2 instance so for this we'll be using demo2 server yes because demo1 server work has been completed so we'll be using demo2 server for this and for this session let's say okay so for this uh, demo if we go to demo 2 server volume the size is 8 GB and now say that uh, as per our requirement we need an extra volume or we can say secondary volume to get attached to it so let's say we want to attach a uh, 50 GB of volume to it so we'll create a volume click on create volume let's give it a size of 50 GB and the thing that you need to be careful over here is the availability zone so you need to create a volume uh, to be or to make it attachable to the instance uh, should be in the same availability zone so if I go into EC2 instance and check the availability zone of the demo2 server it's US East 1E so I will also need to have to create an EBS volume in US East 1E uh, availability zone and let's give it a name let's give it a name new volume new volume would be great and yes let's encrypt this volume also using the master key default master key provided by AWS and yes we can click on create volume and our new volume creation is in uh, process so state is creating so you guys can see on the screen and it, it won't take more than few seconds uh, say so if I refresh over here the new volume has been created and it's not in the in use state it's in the available state as it is not attached to any of the EC2 instance so let's click on actions and uh, click on attach volume select the EC2 instance that we want to attach to so we'll be uh, attaching it to the demo2 server and uh, for the device name we can choose any of them um, but uh, based on the Linux device name naming convention your naming convention should be between dev SDF through dev SDP that is from F to P you can give any of the later uses so we'll be choosing the default one we'll click on attach and yes it's in in use state so before it was in, in a, uh, available state now it is in in use stage let me phrase over here and uh, the volume has been attached so the volume has been attached but uh, uh, if we go inside the server of demo 2 uh, we'll see that the volume has been made available but but it is not in a mounted state and is not in a usable state so to make this 50 GB of volume to be usable at the operating system level we have to do certain configuration tweakings so let, let's see that so let's go to the instances and uh, grab my IP address of the demo2 server and uh, yes hit the same command that I have used paste the IP and I am inside my server so, yeah, yes and yes let me clear my screen so that is so okay so if I list my blocks storage blocks I can see that uh, this is my default 8 GB of volume 
and the 50 GB that we have externally attached that is XBDF 50 GB 0 and the mount point of XBDA1 8 GB volume is at the root path that is denoted by slash but the mount point of our uh, XBDF uh, uh, volume is not mounted to any point so to make this uh, external volume that we have attached to work we have to mount it to a specific location or a specific directory so that it uses that directory to store stops so let's uh, begin with the configurations that we need to perform so let's first uh, check for the presence of any data in this, this uh, volume so let's check if there is any data present inside it using this command that is sudo file dash s and the device name that is dev slash xvdf so this is the device name and you guys need to keep dev in front of it and yes this is the command to check if the volume has any data so if i enter it says data this simply if you guys see this one the output of this command then this simply means there is no data inside the file so yes there is no data inside the file that's okay so in case there is no data in the file that simply means that uh, it has no file system created so we'll use this command that is sudo mkfs slash t and as we are using the ubuntu operating system and the file system name of uh, it is ext4 and uh, the path is dev slash xvdf okay so this command that we have used currently is uh, used to format the volume to ext4 file system so i'll enter it and yes and yes the file system has been created uh, okay so now we need to create a directory to which we want to point this uh, newly created ebs volume so let's create a uh, a directory inside cd mnt path enter and yes this okay this simply means there is no current directories inside mnt so let's create a directory mkdir let's create a directory called new volume yeah that would be pretty much of cool and let's click enter and yes our volume has been created that is new volume and let's uh, mount that newly created EBS volume of 50 GB to it so you will use the command mount slash dev slash xvdf okay this is the device name you need to be very careful using the name of the devices that you want to mount so this is the device name and where we want to uh, mount over here it at new folder we click on enter yes the mounting has been completed and if we go inside this folder for now if we click on cd new folder or we can say new volume and if we ls over here we see a, a folder created that is lost plus found this simply means that the device has been mounted successfully within file system of ext4 and you you guys may be curious about what this simply means lost plus found uh, directory inside the new volume so is this this we can simply understand uh, uh, this as a, a folder that consists of lost and found files so for example let's say you were working on a file and on your uh, desktop or on your laptop and suddenly due to certain reasons your laptop just got shut down without uh, uh, you were able to save those files and uh, once you reboot or uh, uh, switch on your laptop or pc those uh, files uh, are we can say certain file systems such as fsck that is file system check uh, a, a, a command or we can say a, a dependencies examines your file system for errors and corrupted files so if it finds any sort of corrupted files then it will place those files inside this folder that is lust plus found folder and uh, by going inside it you guys can 
uh, find those files and replace or uh, move those files to a specific location so this this is pretty much of a useful feature so you guys can try over here so currently if we go inside it lust plus found folder we will see that okay so i think it needs a sudo privilege uh, needs to open that file in uh, administrative basis so if i ls over here okay let me go inside it ls we can see that currently there is no files and folders inside it so as we have currently uh, mounted and created our uh, mount point so there is no files currently so you, you guys can explore more about this so as our files have been created let me go to my folder let me clear my screen okay so we are in um, our mount point that is mnt new volume so how we can choose uh, or we can check that this is the original or uh, running mount point so let me click on lsblk once and you guys can see that xbdf has been mounted that is 50 gb of volume has been mounted at point slash mnt slash new volume and if we click on df dash h also you guys can see that this is our root volume and this is our secondary volume that is div slash xvdf 49 gb uh, has been mounted at mnt new volume so by through here also you guys can uh, find the mounting point uh, information so if let's create a file over here so let's create a directory over here mkdir aws and let's create a file over here so sudo nano test one.txt and let's write a okay this is test file yes that would be great and save it x and if i say there are aws called folder and there is txt1 dot txt file let's create one file also that is touch and test2 dot txt ls yes the files are up and running as we can see that the files are able to store in the specific mount point and this uh, specifies that our second uh, part has also been completed that we were able to attach a new EBS volume to an existing EC2 instance and perform certain configuration tweakings and we are able to mount it to a specific location and our uh, that storage point is also up and running. So we have completed uh, this setup and our demonstration has been also completed. So I think uh, you guys enjoyed this session and uh, this this session was useful to uh, you so thank you thank you all of you for watching this session and uh, we'll meet soon